Ethan only gets prizes for first place. And that, that drive, that sort of determination that you will be the best is instilled in almost every single boy at this school. And for me, I was never the best, but I was determined to keep going. I'm determined that whatever I do, I'll be the best at it. I have a minimum level of where I want to be, and if I'm not there, then it's time to call it a day. By the time he left the school, he was his flat speed was really good, won the 100 metres. And the technique has always been good, and apart from that time when you hit the hurdle as a little boy, you just generally don't hit hurdles, so... No, I don't. I think I learned not hit hurdles because I hit so many hurdles as a youngster. I, when I came here last week, the Eton programme said Lawrence Clark, fourth in the Olympic Games, didn't make the final in his first year, and that's because I fell flat on my face at the first hurdle. He's got a lot of self-belief and doesn't care what doesn't get psyched out by other people, doesn't care really what they think very much. When you look at people who have been champions and they're completely unfazed. I was in the lane next mm. to the world record holder. You know, you, nothing, nothing would have fazed him at all. But the great thing is we do have Winslow and Eaton yeah. Athletics Club at, who are based at the track that we use, our track, and so you know, certain boys are able to join the club and take it further, and that's what Lawrence started doing towards the end. Right, so do you guys normally do like warm-up walking drills or anything? Yeah. I don't know if you guys do it on your toes or anything. But... His real ambition was to, to, to climb and maybe be the, the, the youngest person ever to climb Everest. Uh, but as soon as uh, this uh, Nepali guy beat that record uh, at age 15, and Lawrence was already 15, then he, I think he knocked on the head the idea of climbing. The difference between me and the Olympic champion in the Olympic final over every single hurdle, from touchdown of the lead leg to the trail leg, was four hundredths of a second on every single hurdle. So try and get your foot down as quick as you can in between, yeah, stamp it down. <laughs> I hold a competitive grudge. If you beat me, even if it was four years ago, I'll be determined to beat you again. Chins on the line, boys. Chins on the line. Okay, right, set. <laughs> So do you guys want to come over to hurdles now? What makes you the best is your mental attitude. I got on that Olympic start line and there was no way that anyone was going to get between me and the finish line. But you never think you're better and you never think you're worse. I think that's the way you should see it. As soon as you think you're better, then when you lose a race, you lose your game. Whereas if you think you're on an equal level, you can challenge. How you doing? <laughs>